see how we're getting on with this now. So hopefully you can all see me. Hi, Carol. So I'm just going to double check that we are live and then I'm going to go through what we're going to be doing today. So we are going to be looking at how to live, go live on your Instagram stories. So all this week we've been covering how to use video in your stories. So I want to bring to you how to actually go live um, inside of your stories. So that's awesome. Yeah, I can see that some people can hear me, which is great. And that's awesome. Hi, everyone. So let me know where you're streaming in from in here. And I'm also live on my YouTube channel for a change today. So I'm multi streaming using restream to do that. So I'm having a little go at bringing this to you inside the group, but I'm just giving a bonus to my YouTube fans as well. They're going to see how to go live in your Instagram stories as well which is awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I would like you to let me know if you've ever gone live on your Instagram stories before. So let me know in the comments below. And if you're watching the replay of this video, let me know whether that's something that you've done as well. Because obviously, you might not have caught the introduction to this and you may be a little bit unsure of actually how to go live on your Instagram. So this will help you to learn how to do that. So let me know in the comments if you can do that. So all this week, as a little overview, we have been looking at going live, uh, sorry, using video. So we looked at some of the basic video apps inside of your um, Instagram app itself, which were like Hyperlapse, Hands Free and Boomerang. And then on the other days, we've looked at the Wave.video, we've looked at Video Shop, and we've also looked at Mojo, all different types of apps that help you to create video. Now, one of the best ways of creating video is to actually go live like I am at the moment, because there's no, apart from thinking about what you're gonna be going live about, and also making sure that your settings are okay, the light's okay, that you've got a good mic in front of you, you can do all of this from your mobile phone. So it's really, really easy to do, but a little bit of pre-thinking. So when you're thinking about going live on Instagram, you need to think about what it is that you want to do. Now, this might be a brand awareness. You may have not gone live on Instagram before. So you may just want to go on and say hi and introduce yourself. Now, Instagram itself in stories allows you to go live. Now, when you're in your story, usually along the top, and I'll show you this using the um, Instagram app itself, you can see whether people have uploaded to their story because you have that orangey Instagram circle around the outside. When they've gone live, you get a little live, like a little um, play button. Now, Instagram have just changed the way your video is kept after going live on Instagram. Previously, you would go live inside your stories and then it would stay there for 24 hours and then it would disappear and there would be no way of capturing that live. However, Instagram wants to really push their Instagram TV channel at the moment. So their Instagram TV channel is like YouTube. It's a place where you can upload video and you can upload high quality video that really speaks to your audience inside Instagram TV on its own. But Instagram are making it so easy for you to do it. They're actually letting you do it from going live inside their Instagram app. So I'm going to share my Instagram with you. And we're going to look at how you go live and what happens when you go live. So thanks for everyone who's said whether they've gone live or not. Not that many of you have. So this is a really good opportunity for you to give it a go. If it all goes pear shaped and wrong, it's fine. You can just delete it. It doesn't have to stay there. So it's a really good opportunity for you to reach a different audience through live video. So how about telling me in the comments below whether you've been live on Facebook before? So if you've gone live from your Facebook business page before, let me know whether you've done that inside of the stream, because that would be really useful to me to just see who's actually been live and who hasn't been live. That's that's really cool. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to share my phone with you and then we're going to show you exactly how to set it up and how to go live from your actual page. OK, so awesome. Right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna share my phone with you and you're gonna see my phone come up on the screen. So I'm going to just set that up. So a couple of you have gone live, which is really good. Um, am I gonna do this from the airplay? 
Okay, so I'm just going to set the live up so you can see my phone. So you should be able to see my phone now on the screen. So let's just wait for that to come through. Let me just see if you can see that. I'm just going to double check in my Facebook to make sure. Maybe you can just give me the thumbs up to let me know that you can see my mobile phone on the screen. I know I can see you guys on my mobile phone. Just see whether you can see my phone or not. Let's have a little look. Yeah, you can, that's awesome. Okay, so you can see my mobile phone, which is great. So I'm gonna jump out of the group on my mobile phone and I'm gonna go over into Instagram. So here we are on Instagram. Okay, so here's my Instagram account. Let's go to my actual account. So you should be able to see that on the screen. Okay, so Zoe, Carol and Karina said that they have not gone live on their Instagram, on the Instas, but they've had a little dabble on their Facebooks, which is awesome. Okay, so you should all see what I can see right now. And I'm just gonna double check that I'm still live on my YouTube channel. So let me just have a quick look right now. Yep, I am, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna let that carry on playing. Okay, so let's jump back into the, I've lost my little screen. Oh, here we are, hang on. Where's my little screen gone? Sorry, I've lost everyone because it's behind all these tabs. Here it is, okay, awesome. So, we are on our Instagram account. So to go to see where the lives are, if you go to the bottom left, there is a little house sign. What you want to do is click that little house sign and it brings up your home feed, the feed that you have when you're at home, in your home feed. And this is the posts from everybody else that you like or you follow and some discovery posts that are put there from the hashtags that you might have searched for. And when you click on my actual story up the top, you can see that I've been active on my story today. Now to go live on your story, you need to access your stories like you would normally do. So you click the home button and then you use your finger and you swipe your phone to the right. And that opens up the phone so that you can see it. Now I've actually handily, um, I've put it in front of me a little bit. So I'm just gonna move my screen so that you can all see me. So I can see you and I'm gonna move my camera over so that I can, see you. You can just see my camp, my phone on its on its holdall. Now, what happens when you go live on Instagram is that you need to scroll along the bottom to you get to the live settings. Now, these live settings, as you can see from the background just here, if you look at where I'm pointing on my phone, there is an option to put a title in, in your live. Now that's quite new. And also there's one that says a fundraiser. So if you are associated with the fundraising, you can actually do that. And also up here, it shows you how many of your followers are actually active at this time. Now, I know you're watching me on Facebook and I will be going live on Instagram in a moment. And you will get notified if you're following me on Instagram that I'm going live. So if you do want to get my notifications, you want to hop over to Instagram and follow me over there. And my Instagram account is at underscore Anita underscore Wong. And you can follow me there. And what happens then is that when I do go live in the future, you'll get notification. Now, one of you, if I may ask you to join me on the live, because I'm going to show you how you can bring somebody else on. So maybe Carol, who's watching, who's a sales strategist and business mentor, she has been following me and I'm following Carol as well. Maybe in a moment, if it's okay with you, when I go live, I'll show everybody how I can invite a guest on. And if anyone else wants to join me live, then perhaps we can get a couple of people on. So maybe Zoe, if you're free, we can perhaps do that as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to give your live a title. Now this title can be amended later, but if you want to give a live a title, so I'm going to give it a title now, and I'm just going to put, um, showing my challenge group how to go live. So that's the title that I've put in my phone, as you can see. 
So now I'm going to click add title. So this, your followers and anyone watching will see this title. So they'll see what this video is about. Now they can't obviously see the screen like you can see because inside of Instagram, they're only going to be able to see me. Okay. So then what you do is you press go live. So when I press go live, it checks the connection and it makes sure that everything is there. And then I'm live. So hello everyone and welcome to Anita Wong and my Instagram live for today. I've already been live earlier on today, so this will probably be your second notification. So what I'm doing is I'm actually speaking to my followers on Instagram. And what's happening now is that they are being notified by Instagram that I'm joining. So Nick's just joined me. As you can see, Nick Blanchard is at the bottom. He's just joined me live. So if you're watching me on Facebook, you may get a notification. Now it says wave at Nick, which means that I can acknowledge that I know he's, he's watching. So I can click the wave button and he sort of gets a little wave from me. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, you'll probably get that notification as well. And if you do, that's awesome. So if you want to watch me as well, and I know that's a little bit difficult, sort of yeah okay so you're watching both facebook and instagram so when it tells me that somebody else is watching me i'll be able to invite them now i'm going to run through the menu at the bottom so that you can see what's happening so at the menu at the very bottom i have a comments bit here so i have these comments and i can actually write some comments so i can go hi everyone have any questions about going live on your Instagram. Okay, so I can post that. So Carol's actually sent me a request to be on my live video already. So I'm going to say um, yes in a second. So I'm going to view that and actually Carol's asked to join me. So because I know Carol, I'm going to allow her to come in. Another way of doing it is for me as the host to actually invite Carol as well. So we'll just wait for Carol to join us. Oh, Hi, Carol. Hello. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to try and just turn my down as well so that um, it doesn't confuse people. So what happens is that now Carol's joined me on the live. She can actually, if I wanted to, I could actually interview Carol on the live and then I could perhaps actually host an interview session on my live Instagram. Now, because I've already, because Carol requested to join me, you don't see at the bottom these two little faces. Normally, if I'm on my own, there's two little faces down the bottom and that's how you can invite people. So when I ask Carol to leave the group, I'll show, show you all that and then perhaps I'll, I'll get Carol to come back on. While we're doing that, I want to just do a test, if I may. There is a little filter circle where you can see like a little face with some stars. Now that enables us to actually put a little filter on. So I'm just going to see whether it puts a filter on both of us. <laughs> oh, Carol's playing with her filter. So Carol can do her own filter and I can do my own filter. So you can see how we can actually make the actual live a little bit interactive and a little bit more fun so now we're having a little bit of a whose filter is the best go so now we're going to have a little i'm a little thing so carol's like and i can have my ready breath glow again and i can do my cool shade appearance so as you can see there's lots of different options if you want to take those filters off you just swipe along the bottom and then you just go to the off button and then it's back to you so lots of people are joining me. And as you can see, if I scroll down the, the comments, you can see that there's all these people that have joined. And now I can send them a little wave to acknowledge that I know that they're joining. So I'm gonna just wave at everybody while Carol plays with her filters. And um, as you can see, we're just waving at everyone, which is great. So I'm just gonna ask you, Carol, to leave. I love this one. I love this water one. Because this water one, you could go down, Carol. If you go down, it looks like you're bobbing under the water and then you're bobbing back up again. And it is such a fun actual uh, video. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna ask you to leave if I may, Carol, and I'm gonna show everybody how you can actually okay. invite people. So I'm gonna just put the cross up and I'm going to remove Carol or Carol can leave on her own accord. So she's already left, which is great. 
So now, just to show you, if, for instance, you wanted to have a guest on, now I have these two little faces at the bottom. And I can actually choose who is watching me could go live with me. So I could actually request Carol and I could request somebody else. So I don't know whether um, anyone else said that they'd be happy for me to go. So let me just do Zoe as well. Oh, I can only do one at a time. So as you can see, when you go live with someone, anyone can watch. So we can only do one at a time. So we're going to add Carol back. And she'll get an invite this time to actually join in the live. So as you can see, we can swap over and bring different people in to the live that we had. Now, if Carol doesn't get the notification or she's busy and she can't join it, then I can cancel my request and I can ask somebody else. So for instance, let's see if Zoe's available and then she could join in. Now Zoe's in the group watching this live. I know Nick's watching and he came on a bit earlier on when I was doing something else. So here we have Zoe now. Hi Zoe. Hi there, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So this yeah. is how it's really good that you can interview people. And Zoe actually creates stained glass windows and all these sorts of things. And if you could, like perhaps if you had a previous client, you could ask them to come on and discuss with you the procedure that you have. And this is a really good way of bringing your business in front of people. I know a lot of people are a little bit wary about going live on video, but it's very spontaneous with Instagram Live. So you can have a little bit more flexibility and, to, you know, obviously you need to agree with them beforehand, but you could actually talk about you could have an interview with lots of other people as well, which is great. And as you can see from the chat, you can see that everybody is commenting that um, are, are on with us. And everyone's like, some people are saying hello to Zoe. Some people are saying hello to me. Now, Zoe can actually comment back if she wants to. There should be a little comment bar on Zoe's one as well. And as you can see, I haven't never, I've never been able to get the question to work. You see, there's that little question mark. So I think if somebody puts a question in, if you can see that there's an option for you to put a question in, you could ask me a question. And also there is an option for you to give me lots of hearts. So there's a lot of interaction that you can give. So if everybody who's watching me now gives me lots of hearts, that's going to tell the algorithm that this, in this particular live is interesting, because I know it is, but if you give me like, like lots of hearts inside of Instagram, it's going to tell the Instagram algorithm that things are working. So here come the hearts now, which is awesome. So that's gonna let Instagram know that this is a really interactive live and that they may then share this with other people who are in my following. And also those people that are in the general public will get notified that I've gone live. So Zoe, have you ever done a live on Instagram? Never. Okay, and do you think that after watching this, you might give it a go? Absolutely, because I'm getting braver about being in front of the camera, so I know about videos, and I think this would be brilliant because um, there's quite a lot of events where one artist interviews another artist mm. about their practice, and then it goes on, it's like a chain, and this would be fantastic for this, because it will get everybody, you know, more exposure, and it's, it's a great feature. Okay, awesome, and then what we're going to learn at the end of this live is I'm going to show you how you can actually save that live. So if you did do those interviews with other artists, you can actually save it to your channel for, for those artists to reshare it and actually interact with it as well. So I'm going to ask you to leave now, Zoe, so that you don't have to sort of like stay on the whole time. So there's an option there for you to leave or there's an option for me to um, leave. So do you want to click the option to leave? Uh, where do I see that? Is that Should, just a cross? Yes, that's just a little cross and that will um, just leave you. So thanks very much for joining me. That's that's awesome. So I wanted to highlight the fact that um, there's somebody else wants to join. So I can click and Carol wants to come on. So I'm going to let Carol come on because I want to let Carol introduce herself as well because she's brave enough to come on to the live with me. So come on on Carol, Carol when you're ready. And then I want to go through that little question mark that we've got there so that you can see. So we'll just wait for Carol to join us. She's probably wondering where the little button is. Are you going to come on? Okay, it's probably not working. Okay, I'm going to cancel that now. 
And then I'm just gonna, if, if you wanna request to come on with me again, like you did before, then do that and we can have you on and you can explain to everybody what you do. But I want to go through this little question mark. You see, there's a little thing down the bottom. Let me just get my hand in the right place there with the little plus one. Okay, I'll request you in again in a second. That little question mark, is where somebody's actually asked me a question and Carol has actually put it here, tap a response to show it on the screen and share it with your viewers. So she's actually done, this is brilliant. So if I click that, that's actually gonna show up on the live and that's like a Q and A. So that's like, if somebody asked me a question, I could actually answer that. So that's an awesome feature. So if you're ever on a live with anybody and people, you invite people to ask you a question, they can actually fill that question in for you. So I'm going to just leave that now and then, oh, look, there you go. Best way to organically grow your following. So Nick's just asked me a question. Best way to organically grow your following. Well, I would say at the moment there are two really good ways. The first way is to go live on your Instagram stories and on your Facebook business page. Have a presence in a live video format as much as you can. And the second way is to consistently show up. So consistency will pay in the long run. Every day, do something. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to go live every day. Ideally, that would be great. But if you don't feel confident enough to go live every day, or you don't have time to go live every day, some people don't have time. You know, we're all entrepreneurs. We're all juggling our home lives, our children, our business, running a home, partners, dogs, pets, sports. You know, it's hard work to run your own business. So actually to Number one, be consistent, will help you grow organically. And number two, if you can go live regularly, at least once a week, if not once a day, then that will help you to grow organically. So as you can see, now Carol's requested to join me again. So I'm gonna click um, and I'm gonna go, go live with Carol. So now Carol's gonna join us back on now. How do you ask questions? I don't see it. There should be something there. Now, Carol's asked me a question. Hi, Hi Carol. So um, Karina's just said to me, how do I ask a question? I don't see it. So how did you ask me that question? Um, I saw the little question. Um, you know, it looked like two little cards. Yeah, so what we've got in front of us now. Yeah, so just on the screen inside the, because we're actually, don't forget that we're actually streaming live into the Facebook group at the moment. So that's actually where this is going, although I'm, I'm live on Instagram. So people in the Facebook group can see that there are two little cards, like Carol said, with a little question mark on. If you click that as a guest or somebody that's watching, it will give you the opportunity to ask a question. And that will then let me know that you've asked the question. And I can actually pull your question up on the screen. So Carol's been on a couple of times with me. I just want to let Carol introduce herself to everyone to let them know what you do. So why don't you just go ahead and let us know. Thank you, Anita. So I'm Carol Bernadette Bosbert. I'm on obviously Instagram under Carol Bosbert. And I'm a marketing and sales strategist and business mentor. So I work a lot with female coaches to help them build a business that they love, help them have a really clear strategy, and also I help them to sell with ease and grace. Brilliant, thank you for that. So Karuna's saying I can see it on Facebook, but not on my Insta. So you can see it in the Facebook group or actually on the Instagram. Maybe if you could, if you're willing to, like my, and also when you're live, you, you get the drop downs. Um, if you can take a screenshot of what you can see, then it will help me to help you later on in the group. Because if you can share that screenshot under this video, inside my Facebook group where this is hosting, then um, if you can do that for me. So take a screenshot of your phone so that I can actually see the screen so then I can help you find out where that question is. And then you said in the Facebook group, I can ask a question. Yeah, you can ask a question in the Facebook group, but actually when you're doing a live on Instagram, you do have these options. Now, I want to show you something really quickly. So Carol, thank you very much for joining me. It's been really good. So thank you very much for joining me. I just want to show you, you one more Bye. thing. Okay. Which group are we in? I'm on Instagram. That's fine, gal. We're in the Instagram and Facebook stories challenge group. I'm doing a live in there as part of the five day challenge, but you're okay to, to watch me on Instagram. That's perfectly fine. You're just not seeing the behind the scenes, which is what we're seeing. So if I show you the behind the scenes, 
I am actually live here. Oops, I took my phone out. So this is the behind the scenes. So this is me in my office. So I've got my light and this here is being recorded into my Zoom and I'm going through Restream and I'm actually showing this on YouTube as well. So if I turn myself around, you can see that I'm here in my office. So I have my, I have this phone actually on this little tripod. So this is what my phone is sitting in whilst I am doing this tutorial for you. So just in case anyone asks me, I got it from TK Maxx for like four pounds. <laughs> Um, and it's a bit it's a bit noisy because it's a bit wiggly, but it actually works really well. So let me just get that right so that I'm sort of in the right position. So what I want to show you now is on the live where we are now on Instagram. This is at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Usually when you go live, you can see your camera roll. Now, something I discovered today is that I can actually share a video or an image of the of something that I've done whilst I'm live. So for those of you who create, who are creators, you can actually show the work that you've done here. For those of you who offer a service, you may want to show a video you've already recorded. So I'm going to just show you briefly. I'm going to click this bottom right hand corner and that allows me to see what's happening in my camera roll. And then I'm going to go across and I'm going to just get to this video. Now, this video is what I did this morning live Hello, on my everyone. Facebook business Welcome. page. So, I wanted to come in so live I'm just going to um, so take that off for a second. So How do I get that off? Hang on. So to take it off, you go back to the off button. Now. Obviously, that's quite an advanced use of your Instagram stories. But just imagine what you could do if you had a quick little video that you pre-recorded. You could actually be the um, presenter of that video. So you could actually present your own video here. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap this up because I'm very conscious of the time. What we've done is we've gone live on our Instagram stories. Now, we've looked at the question feature. We've looked at how you can add a filter. We've also looked at, let me just move that over so it's not in front of everybody on the group. We've also looked at, oh, let me just move it up. I'm gonna move my camera over a bit and I'll move my, my laptop around. Okay, I just wanna get this up so that people on Instagram can still see me for a second. Okay, so we've looked at how to go live in, on, on your Instagram stories. And we've looked at all the features around the bottom. What I want to do now is I want to show you how to end it. So when you end your Instagram live, you want to wrap it up with everybody. So I'm going to share this Instagram live into my Instagram TV account. So after I've gone live, you'll be able to watch the replay of this inside my account. So you finish off your live and then you go ahead and click the end button. So when you finish off, it says end now. So I'm going to click end now. And it gives me some options. So it shows me, first of all, who joined me live. And then it says share to Instagram TV. So I'm going to share this video to Instagram TV. So I'm going to click share to Instagram TV. Now, this is the same way as you would normally share your other stuff. So it allows you to choose a thumbnail. So I'm going to not going to use the one that it's given me there. I'm going to use a different one. So I'm going to scroll along here. <laughs> Maybe I might. Well, the thing is, what you've got to think about is that this thumbnail, if you want it to show in your Instagram feed, is going to show in the square of your Instagram feed. You know, when you've got your nine squares. So this is going to show there. So it's probably better not to get a video that's cut in half like we did have and maybe have one that um, is a little bit more. Maybe I'll try and grab one of me smiling. Uh, let's see if I've got any of me. Uh. Oh, quite sensitive, but you can if you want to upload a thumbnail. So if you know you're going to go live for a particular reason, you could actually choose one. Um, for that. Oh, that one would be like, it looks like I'm giving everyone a kiss. Okay, so then you click next. Any questions whatsoever, let me know. And I'll, when I stop sharing, I'll be able to answer them for you. So now the title, remember I wrote that title before, that's already showing. 
So then you can put your description in here. So what your video is about. So this video shows you how to go live and invite people to your live. And then um, watch more by clicking the IGTV link. Now, I always tell my audience what to do because it helps them to navigate through. Oops. It helps them. It helps them to navigate through. And then all you have to do is it says share a post preview. So that's the little square. So you go ahead and click post. And that's going to upload the video and post it to my actual Instagram account. And what it's going to do is it's going to give a, um, a little introduction in my squares. And it's also going to share it into my Instagram TV account. So now, as you can see, I'm here. So if I go to my home page, so my profile, and I scroll up a little bit, you can see that this is showing me the first 60 seconds of the video. And then I can watch the rest on my so Instagram I'm TV. Today. I've already been live earlier on today. So this will be your So this is where you can, um, live, sorry, so let me just stop it. Anita Wall oh. and Mark. So this is where you can actually bring your live from your Instagram into your Instagram account. And then it will sit in your feed for everybody to see. So I'm going to stop my share now and I'm going to come back on and see if anyone's got any questions. I'm just going to take my phone off my little thing so that it's out of your way. And I'm going to just check in and see if anyone's got any questions. So the button on the right hand side isn't there on my iPad. OK, so the iPad may be slightly different from what you're seeing at the moment. So I'm showing you how to go live. Sorry, let me just take this off. I'm showing you how to go live from your mobile phone. So I actually use a Android, uh, an iPhone. For those of you who have got an Android phone, the, the way you go live may look just a little bit different because an Android phone, the setup is different from the iPhone. Now, what I'd love you to do, if you possibly could, as part of this challenge, day five of this challenge, is to actually have a go at going live on your Instagram. If you go live for longer than one minute, then you'll be able to save the live to your Instagram TV. Now, if it all goes wrong and you don't like it, you can just delete it by going to the actual live, clicking the three little dots in the top right hand corner and deleting. But at least it gives you an opportunity to have a little go at going live via your Instagram. So if you want to go live on your iPad, then you can. But it will be a little bit different to what we're seeing here. If you want to go live on your actual um, phone, then it, it should be pretty much how we are going live at the moment. OK, so hopefully that's sort of how it's going to work for you. Now, if you have any questions about what we've just done today, please pop them in the comments below this video, because I know it's probably going to give you a lot of questions. I'm just going to refresh my window to see if you've got any other questions about this training. So Zoe said it's definitely going to be useful for her. Um, Karuna says she's going to have a go at the weekend. Um, too fame. <laughs> That's OK. Do it whenever you want over the weekend. And just and then if you can take a screenshot of it and um, pop it into the group under this video and just put hashtag day five. That would be absolutely awesome. And then if you have any other questions about using this particular live video, because one of the advantages of using live video um, let's just see, has anyone else got? I will try over the weekend. That's great. I will try it out as well. Um, just just bear with me one second. Just wait one second. OK, that's fine. My daughter got it. It was somebody at the door. <laughs> um, great. OK, yeah. So if you can have a go at going live, that would be awesome. Obviously, it is a big, a big ask that I'm asking you. So I don't mind if you don't do it. OK, it is, you know, it's it's. Um, it, it is open to the to your followers, so it is public. Well, one thing that I would suggest that you do, if you've never done a live video before, or you've never gone live into Facebook before, 
then one of the things that I suggest people do is to go live into a secret group, is to create a group of their own. But I'm actually going to invite you to go live into this group. So if you have never been live on Facebook before, then I would be absolutely honored for you to come into this group and have a go at going live in here. So you don't have to go live in your stories. You can come into this group and where it says create post, you just go ahead and go live and maybe just come in and introduce yourself. This is a closed community where you can go live and have a go. If you don't feel confident enough to go live in this group, then I suggest you create your own Facebook group and you keep it secret. So you can set it as closed and secret and only you will see it. And you can practice going live in that group. That's something that I always tell my clients to do is that if they're not confident enough to go live on Facebook or Instagram straight away to practice going live in a group. So you can go live in this group if you want to. I'm quite happy for you to do that. So the challenge today, if you can't do the live and that's perfectly fine, I would like you to do a video story because remember it's about being consistent. Every day this week, we've had a little challenge around using video in your story. So if you can just do a quick 15 second video, telling everybody that you are looking at ways of improving like your visibility or go on and tell them about what you're up to at the weekend. You could talk about the fact that it's, it's um, TGFI, like thank God it's Friday today. It's the end of the week, it's time to celebrate. We've all been working really hard all week. Now's time for a little bit of downtime, a little bit of chill out and a little bit of relaxation. So if you have any questions whatsoever after watching this video and watching the replay, please pop them in the comments below. If you can give me some love and some hearts before we finish, that would be greatly appreciated as well. And if you can like this as well, that would be wonderful too. So I'm gonna close off now. I've loved every moment of this and I will be live on Monday to go over what we learned this week and to talk to you about what we're planning to do for the rest of the time in the group because I've got lots of plans to do some more live training in the group and also some more workshops as I know a couple of you have asked me when I'm going to be going to do another workshop so I'm planning to do another workshop at the beginning of September so I'm going to be talking to you about that as well today. Um, sorry, on Monday. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you all for joining me. Problem with recording on the iPad, the tripod adapter holds it horizontally. Okay, so before I go quickly, if the tripod adapter holds it horizontally, try fixing it to something to make it look portrait. So I've got mine attached to the side of my little tray. Maybe try and get like... Um, if you've got a light with a tripod, maybe attach it to the side of that, because if it holds it horizontally, all you need to do is turn the actual physical thing portrait. So have a little think about how you can fix it to something so that the, the, phone, the iPad is not horizontal, it's portrait. And do double check the back of the holder, because sometimes they, they have adapters where you can click it to look horizontally and you can click it to go portrait or lean it on something so lean it on some books or lean it on a shelf or anything like that so thank you so much for joining me today any questions whatsoever drop them in the comments below and i will see you on monday for a live update on what's happening and the plans to keep you guys into your stories um, as we go forward okay i'll see you all